What's up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 Forsaken related video and taste. We'll be going over the week 6 Ascendant challenge and how to complete it. So the portal for the challenge this week is inside the Chamber of Starlight Lost Sector. Uh, that can be accessed through going to the Rasilva, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it, location inside the Dreaming City. You kind of have to go all the way through the entire Lost Sector. So if you want to clear out the ads first before you go in, you can probably do that and maybe play it a little more safe instead of dying before you get there. For the challenge itself, I like it's the most difficult one out of the six, like in my opinion. Essentially, it's a giant gauntlet like jumping puzzle challenge, right? Where you must kill enemies, dodge those little taken blasts on the walls like they are in the Whisper of the Worm quest, plus run from the three Abyssal Champion boss knights that chase you for probably most of the encounter. I only really stop a few times in the whole challenge, which I recommend doing right off the bat because it will help your survivability. Uh, right in the beginning, there's like seven or eight taken hobgoblins definitely take all those guys out before you move on there's gonna be two shriekers right after that take out those two shriekers and basically you can sprint all the way up to the top uh, once you get to the rotating platforms like i took my time across the platforms a little bit just to make sure i wouldn't fall and all that great stuff so yeah once you reach the top you must kill a boss knight so it's basically like those other knights that were chasing you except he like is a boss for some reason i feel like he has less health than the abyssal champion knights but it's okay while you're doing this make sure to take care of the ads which include one shrieker there's three in total but the other two didn't really bother me which was kind of weird so i don't know if it like i know you can actually hop up on top of the little arches and then they will attack you so don't hop up there make sure not to do that so there's only one trigger that attacks you take them out real quick pretty simple some shadow thrall actually pop up as well just they're really small ads you can take care of them easily and there's a few taken phalanxes that can blast you off the side of the map obviously so make sure you can get rid of those guys fairly quickly right in the beginning once you kill the knight you can essentially complete the challenge obviously most of it is the gauntlet and just having good uh, mobility and whatnot so i definitely highly recommend rocking mobility exotics i rock stompies clearly i was on my hunter here if you're on the titan rock that lion rampant so you can actually zoom across pretty fast I'm, i think someone said there was a uh, a cheat way with the titan because you can actually like jump really far with it so you might be able to like actually cheese the encounter or the challenge or whatever i would say for the warlock if you want to be able to move a little faster definitely pop on those transversive steps i'll let the rest of the footage play through but this seems to be the end of the ascended challenge week six guide video if you want to help support me there'll be a link below say best way to support me i'll take it to a four minute video if you want to go check that out that'd be really awesome but if you don't want to do that you can always like this video subscribe to the channel share this video turn the notification bell next subscribe if you want to be notified when i drop some new content on the channel and then come on y'all want to see below again make a content for you whatever you guys want to see i will try to get out there as quickly as possible i have some god rolls i want to get out they're pretty sick the gameplay is hilarious. I have a feeling you guys will like it. I unlocked every single subclass, so we're going to be doing reviews all over that as well. We also have the Discord link below. If you want to join, there's no requirements or anything like that. We have some text chats going, obviously, about Destiny 2 Forsaken, some other upcoming games as well, like Division 2 and Anthem. And then we have some voice chats. I know for myself, I'm on Xbox, so I can talk to anybody that's actually on Xbox. But if you aren't on like P PS4 or PC and you just want to talk to me, Discord is going to be the best way to do that. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. We'll catch you next time.